And welcome back, rugby fans, to Rugby 411. As always, I'm your host. My name is Joshua Shibata, and we are at week seven of the MLR 2024 season. This is the preview video, and man, we got some exciting, exciting games this weekend. I am <laughs> can't, can't explain how excited I am because these matchups are going to be some really, really competitive games, and you know, some of these ones are a little hard to call, so Super Brew is going to be very interesting, and as I kind of alluded to in my last video, I'm going to make some pretty interesting picks just because I am so far behind that I kind of have to do this uh, in order to maybe make up some grounds. But five games this weekend, just like last weekend. One's going to be on Friday, one's on Saturday, three on Sunday, and man, the two first games, ooh, they look great. Again, you can watch all these games live or on demand on the Rugby Network, except for the very last game, which is going to be on Fox Sports 2. But again, I highly recommend get the Rugby Network, absolutely free app that shows not only MLR action, but Premiership Rugby as well, if you pay a little premium to it. But uh, it is a great app, and it's absolutely free. Highly recommend watching. It's the only way you can watch all of the MLR games this season, and I believe they still have some from last season up as well. So let's kick it off again for my Super Brew pick em pool people. Don't forget, we do have a game on Friday. Make sure you get that pick in early. Friday, April 12th, 5 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is going to be a great game, or at least a game that could easily be what would be considered an upset. Utah goes over to Choctaw Stadium, they go against Dallas, who are coming off of back to back. Losses, but amazing performances. Uh, losing to Seattle by three, losing to Houston. I'm sorry, losing to Seattle by two, and losing by to Houston by three. Uh, they are now going against another Western Conference opponent in the Utah Warriors. Utah has beaten Dallas four times so far in their rivalry, but you know what? I think this is going to be the game because Utah has been struggling. Where Dallas gets their first win. In this rivalry, Dallas has been looking phenomenal. They've been playing on the road against very tough teams. Utah is struggling. Dallas is going to be home. I think they're going to get a win here. Uh, and it's going to be a good one for them. So mark me down for Dallas. Saturday, April 13th, the next game, 5 p.m. This is honestly probably the game of the week. As much as I love that Rugby FCLA is going to be technically the game of the week on Fox Sports 2. This is your game of the week. The reigning, defending MLR champions, the New England Free Jacks, going over to Sabercat Stadium to take on the only undefeated team left in the league, the Houston Sabercats, who are coming off of a bye. New England, again, didn't look too good against Miami. I don't know if it's because they were just resting players, winning 25-3, eh, to but not in an impressive fashion. Have to make a trip over to Houston to take on a rested from a from a bye, undefeated Houston Sabercats. Uh, in this rivalry, these two teams have only played each other twice. Last time was back in 2023. Uh, but again, lopsided victories for New England, 47-24 to in that, that game in 2023. And then their only other time that they played against each other was in 2021. 32-0, uh, New England got the win. Again, I, I think... Sabercats hold on to that undefeated streak. I think they will win this game and really prove that they are the dominant team so far this season. So I'm saying go Sabercats. It's it's it may be a very uh, tough game to pick, but I believe the Sabercats will remain undefeated. And let's finish off with the rest of the games on this week's slate. Three games for Sunday, April 14th. Uh, two of them start at the same time, so a little tough to watch all the games absolutely live. But the first one, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Anthem Rugby Carolina goes over to SeatGeek Stadium to take on the Chicago Hounds, the resurging, possibly, Chicago Hounds, just coming off of a pretty impressive dominating performance against NOLA. You know, Anthem, I feel, will do what they normally do, give it a good old college try, but I believe Chicago will remain... Uh, on a little win streak here. And then the next game, also at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time kickoff, the before-mentioned Nola Gold going over to San Diego uh, to Snapfire Dragon Stadium. Uh, to Snapdragon Stadium 
to take on the San Diego Legion, who are coming off of a bye. Nola coming off of a pretty much a slacking to Chicago. In this in this rivalry, interestingly enough, San Diego is undefeated against Nola seven to zero. Nola has not defeated the San Diego Legion in any of their seven prior matches. And I feel it's going to be no different with this one. Uh, Nola is looking kind of the team like I predicted that they would be. I think Chicago brought them back down to earth. And I feel San Diego will kind of remind them exactly of who they are with a win over there. And then the technically game of the week. It's going to be on Fox Sports 2, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Seattle Seawolves, your two-time, two-time MLR champions, go over to Dignity Health Sports Park to take on the RFCLA. A first time meeting, of course, between these two franchises. And you know what? I think Seattle, the game against Dallas was kind of telling. I mean, Seattle did have to come back from quite a bit of a deficit, but they were in uh, Starfire Stadium, which, of course, is very much a, a hard place to beat Seattle. It's very much the 16th man on the pitch. They won't have that. Now, granted, Dignity Health Sports Park is not necessarily a loud, big stadium to play in. Uh, but, you know, we'll have the good old LA faithful. Of course, you'll have my voice on the PA as well. And LA is now, unfortunately, struggling with a couple of injuries themselves. Uh, Jason Emery, the very talented center, looked like he might have re-injured himself. I just found out, too, that James Stokes, unfortunately, is uh, seriously hurt. We lost Alex Mahan to a suspension. I mean, our ranks are pretty depleted as is. So it's going to be a struggle. But, see, again, LA plays really well. Yeah, I've made this mention. I'm going to be really, really super critical just because, you know, I am a diehard fan. I'm very close to the team. I'm going to be as... Uh, unbiased as possible but at the same time very uh speaking from the heart on these things and i feel that la is a very good team defensive wise one of the best defensive teams scoring wise they score as many tries as i think everybody else does they only lose games by like less than three points except for the one against houston seattle i feel is kind of beaten up so is la and I think LA is going to kind of man up because they're playing at home. And I do need the points. So I wouldn't be surprised if Seattle gets the win. But I also would not be surprised if LA pulls off the upset and gets their second win in franchise history and their second win at home against the two-time, two-time, that's a lot of twos, MLR champion Seattle Seawolves. So again, I'm going all in on it. I think LA can win it. I'm going to put down my Super Brew because I need the points. Uh, I think it's going to be a great game, though. Regardless, I think it will be a very exciting game. Again, if you are in the LA area, kids are free under 16. Get a free ticket with an adult paid ticket. Uh, kick off again at 3 p.m. at Health Dignity, Sport, uh, Dignity Health Sports Park. It is going to be in the grounds, the smaller venue that's to the side, not the main venue. Uh, but it is a lot of fun. The atmosphere has been great. The turnouts have been amazing. Hopefully the weather's good. But uh, yeah, it should be a fun game. So again, I'm going with LA on this one. We'll see how it works out. Again, if you're in my Super Brew pick em pool, don't forget, get your pick in for the Friday, Saturday game, Saturday games, and then get ready for a lot of fun ML action on Sunday, week seven, uh, going to go down this weekend. And again, as always, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you on the pitch.